Welcome to Travel in Three Minutes. Today we're going to talk about something near to my heart and stomach: food scene in Tokyo. Japan is renowned for its cuisine as it exports its food culture around the world. However, most of what we eat abroad tastes slightly different from the food in Japan. Let's see what the original looks and tastes like. First stop is ramen. This is a shop at the Ramen Street outside of the Shinagawa Station. Ramen and fast food in Japan is purchased via vending machine. After paying up, you get a ticket, presented to the staff, and you got a hot dipping ramen. This ramen is really tasty. The dipping sauce is an intensely flavored bonito fish stock. Most ramen abroad are soy soup based. This is really different. Next is the Tsukiji Market in Tokyo. This market is world renowned as it is the fish market for the whole Japan. The key word here is freshness, and it makes a world of difference in sushi. Here we have a sashimi bowl with shrimp, uni, hamachi, salmon, squid, tamago, and of course, chu tuna. Here we have fatty tuna or toro. The key word is melt in your mouth like butter. Mm. It is also not. At the Tokyo station, we have the okonomiyaki. It is the traditional savory pancake of Japan. You eat it with a spatula, hot right off the plate. At Shinjuku, we ate tempura at a high-end shop. Tempura, when done right, seals in the freshness of the food while cooling it with a crunchy outer layer. The etiquette here is to put the salt on your plate before putting it in the food. Daikon radish is to be placed in the tempura dipping sauce. The tempura miso paste goes directly to the food. You can choose whatever way you like to garnish your food at the end. Here we have clams on the left and fugu on the right. Fugu is the puffer fish and could be poisonous if not cleaned properly. They have more texture than taste and are really expensive. <laughs> This is fugu. At the end of the meal, you have a fried shrimp cake with rice. This one, you pour green tea over it and eat them together. The meal was really satisfying. Too bad my wallet wasn't. When traveling on trains, Japanese love to buy ekiban. Ekiban is basically the train box meal that you buy at the station. It features the local delicacy on the station. Ekiban are generally served cold. This one features pressed sushi. It's not gourmet, but it hits the spot. Hokane is an onsen town an hour outside of Tokyo, and it is known for its soba. I'm gonna try the tempura soba here today. One thing the noodle shops outside of Japan generally couldn't do is it cannot replicate its soup. Look at this shrimp. It is really big and has a really thick coat. Japanese also love Western food, but they localize it into something called yoshoku. Here are the food models of our food. They always look so real. To me, I associate yoshoku as more Japanese than Western. My plate consists of soup, 
salad, cake, hamburger steak, rice, ketchup, spaghetti. Here we have the great teen, puff pastry, salad, and then bread. The taste is nothing spectacular, but it's just hearty and tastes very Japanese. Finally, even on flights, you get good meals. ANA offers unagi tamago rice with shrimp salad and a small cake for lunch. Though not gourmet, it's definitely better than most airlines. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you get hungry for Japanese food because I sure am right now.